Welcome back to the video series. In today's video, we're going to talk about creating posts, which is a lot like creating pages, which was the subject of our last video. So it's going to be similar, but there are a few differences that I wanted to show you. So again, just like creating the pages, we're going to start here at the dashboard. We're going to come over to the menu. We're going to go to posts and we're going to click on that and this looks exactly you know like the the previous video at first so you have this screen here which shows you all of your posts it shows you when it was published you'll be able to search by date um, like I explained in the last video since we just installed this WordPress we don't really have any other dates but eventually you're going to have a lot of dates the difference that you will see is that there's categories and we're going to talk about that in just a moment. So again, this Hello World, that is the standard blog post that comes when you install WordPress. We are going to move that to the trash. We don't want that. We are going to add a new post. So we clicked on that and I'm just going to call this Sample Post 1. I um, copied and pasted, well I copied the text from from the about page that we created in the last video and I'm going to paste it here. So that's just some sample text. And when you come over here, I want to show you just a few things. So if you were going to just write a bunch of blog posts and, and just kind of get your ideas out, um, you know just do some quick drafts you could write it and then you could always save it and then you could come back later so once it's saved it's in draft form so if we come over here to the all posts I'm gonna open that in a new tab I just want to show you what that looks like now so this is the the post page and you'll see that it says draft there so that lets you know it's not published yet and here under date, instead of just being published, it's going to say last modified. So this is the last time that this particular thing was modified. So if we come over here, so let's say that you closed this up, you turned your computer off, this is a new day, you can come back and you can edit it. Now you can choose to publish it immediately or you can change the date. So this is really, really cool. Um, you know, if you had, let's say you had a few free hours, you could write a bunch of blog posts and then you could just publish them to, you know, throughout the week. So let's say on Sunday you sat down and you had time and so you wrote three blog posts and you can set this so that you can have one published on Monday, you can have one published on Wednesday, and one Friday. So you wrote them all on Sunday, they're just going to automatically publish as you set the dates. And you can do it, you know, as, as far in advance as you want to. Like you could have one published next year if you wanted to. Um, so that's up to you. So that's a really, really awesome feature. You can get really technical even down to the minute and the second that it gets published on the date that you choose. And so if you if you want to be the type of person that always publishes on Monday at 8 a.m., you could write them all and, you know, you could set them up so that they're so, so that they go out you know if you're gonna go on vacation let's say you're gonna take a month off and go to Europe or something you could set those up so that you they're, they're posting every Monday at 8 a.m. even though you are off doing whatever in some other country so that's a really awesome feature and you can definitely take advantage of that and so I want to show you the categories as well and so when we were talking um, in previous videos about the settings, this was one of the settings, the category that your blog posts are just automatically set to. And we're going to have a whole video on categories and, and why we care about those. Um, but just right now I wanted to show you, you could create a new category. So let's say you wanted to have a featured post. You could create that and you could add that category and it will just automatically be there 
you can uncheck the uncategorized and um, you can always change that. We'll talk about parent categories when we actually talk about categories in the categories and tags video. So we're going to just ignore this for the moment. The, the SEO settings, um, now this is because of the theme that I chose, so you this may look different depending on the theme that you choose. You may or may not have have this um, SEO settings. You may have a plugin that has SEO settings that appears here. So this part may be different. This over here on the side, that will that will be there. You will have categories, you will have tags, you will be able to publish um, in the future. This is because of the theme that I chose, so that is something that comes with the theme. And again, this is something that comes with the theme. When we were talking about it in the in the last video, I showed you that you could change and you could have like two sidebars if you wanted to. You could have one on each side. And that is something to keep in mind. So for example, if you had um, if you write about different topics, and uh, maybe you write about, maybe you're a lifestyle blogger and you write about food and you also write about like organizing the home and you know crafts and all kinds of stuff. Um, let's say on one sidebar specifically you had um, some ads for um, for Amazon for like maybe some organic foods or different things that you, you know you have affiliate ads or Amazon calls it the associate and when people click on those you get a commission. So let's say that you had those or let's say you have um, you had a special mailing list opt-in that had to do with recipes that you've created and you only want that to show up on on posts that are you know that revolve around food and recipes. So anytime you know that you are creating a blog post about food or recipes you could click to have that second sidebar shown you know so you could you can get really creative but again this is going to be theme dependent so you have to see what your theme offers so yours may not look quite like that but if you have those options where you can have different sidebars being shown and different things then um, then that's really cool to set up so yeah so those are the major differences now you can set your pages to publish in the future if you wanted to as well um, I don't know if, I mean, if it really makes a difference as far as pages. Um, but posts are definitely something, you know, especially if you do want to plan time off and you do want to have posts showing up regularly without, you know, being tied to the computer. Um, setting them up to post in the future is awesome. And then you will want to take advantage of this categories feature. And we'll talk more about that in the categories and tags video.